a great show today. Happy Thursday. We're moving along in the week. Call us now, you losers. See, see, you know, see how well you're going to insult me. Come on, I can take it. I'm a grown woman. You'll probably comment about my age. Ask me if I care. I don't. Well, uh, today my guests are welcome, you guys, to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having I've me. I've heard so much, so many great things about you. To my left is Paul Zan of Tipsy Television. Uh, uh, Paul, you are a branding expert in wine and of this in, in the wine and spirits world. Yes, indeed. That's amazing. And you've worked on brands for Fergie, Pitbull, and many. Many of the Real Housewives. Real deal. They really? Real uh, how about working on Janice Dickinson next? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. I'm huge in the, gay in, in the gay market. Yes. Um, you also worked on marketing for Absolute Vodka. Yeah. You, uh, uh, Malibu Rum and Bombay Gin. Yes, some of the big ones. Which been, ones are your favorite? Well, I like all alcohol, so any alcohol that's given to me for free, I will definitely imbibe it. Just like uh, all of our battle cameras, but they don't get free booze, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> You're also an amazing part time model. Yes. You had a half a dozen covers, uh, and in, uh, you're a New York City. At the heart here in LA for three years. Yes. But you were born where in Brooklyn? Yep. Uh, me too. I can tell. Yep. You can smell it. When you, you, you can smell it when you're from Brooklyn. We also have Adam Ill. Yeah. Welcome, Adam. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cannabis host, personality, and you've won multiple marijuana awards for hosting battle booths during my show. Hosting battle boot best host boots. I, I won best boots awards at all these uh, cannabis events. Oh, how did you win those? Uh, just being me and hosting my show and making it happen. Where are you from? I'm from the Valley. You 818, say it backwards. 818, <laughs> say it backwards. I like that. You're the, you also have the podcast. Yeah. And getting high with Adam. Yeah. What's that like, getting high with Adam? Oh, it's amazing. You want to get high with Adam and see what it's like? No, well, I, you know, fortunately, you guys, I'm sober today through the grace of God. But you know what? I'm all for, like, watching you and asking you questions because I know all about drugs and alcohol. <laughs> You're the med medical marijuana patient in two countries. Yes. Which countries? I recently went to Israel and got my medical marijuana recommendation over there. Well, that is the one place that I would want to go because we love Israel. Those Let guys are tough cookies. Do they smoke a bunch of pot over there? They have amazing farms out there. Do they really? <laughs> Our next guest is phenomenal. She is beautiful. She is a dancer of extraordinary talent. And you're going to get to witness some of this in the third half of the show. Uh, Alana is also, you teach kindergarten. Yes, I teach kindergarten. Oh. Lots of little children. <laughs> you have got a love, a sexy woman like Alana teaching your children. And you're you're also, uh, you, are, you own a dance company. Yes, I do. I What's do all. What's that like? It's a lot of, it's a lot of work, but um, you definitely have to stay with the times and create choreography based on songs that are coming out now. And, and I also do a lot of ancient cultural dances as well. So well, it's a like, lot of work. where, which kind of culture? Um, I do belly dancing from Egypt, so nice. Egyptian style. Uh, <laughs> Brazilian samba dancing, Bollywood from India. I also do fire dancing. Yeah. And I know that you've got like a trick up your sleeve for us later on I in do. today's show. I where do, do you, where you hail from? Um, I'm mixed, black, white, Native American, but I'm from California. Nice. Paul, tell us, tell us a little something about yourself other than what I introduced you to. What's it like being an expert in booze? I mean, you know, you got to be an expert in some things. I'm a supermodel, dancer, pot, pot connoisseur. But, you know, you do the booze. Is there more money in marijuana or is there more money in alcohol? There's more money in marijuana, I would say. More, <laughs> there's more small amounts of money. It's true. In alcohol, there are large amounts of money, but you have to strike it rich, big, like Bethany Frankel. Who did exactly. Skinny Girl Margarita for sixty million dollars? Nice. But that's you know here or there. Not every day you see that those things happen. So, gotta gotta get a good brand, gotta get a good celebrity, and then go with it. Awesome. Yeah, it has to taste good. We should do supermodel uh, supermodel diva wine. Um, yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. That would be good. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. You could work it. Put the, put the old Janice Din D Dickinson moniker on it. The world's first. Yes. Janice, you want a supermodel? Never never will be. You know, you guys look me up. You keep trying to get to the root of the matter. Donna, so you're not taking calls, no? I'll take your call, caller. Hey, caller, you got, could you have questions for me? Yeah, Janice, it's the same problem with the control center every time. The last show I called in, like, ringing from Dublin, you know what I mean? It's not cheap, and then they leave you on hold for 15 minutes. And the only way you actually become to come live is actually when you unmute your own microphone. The control room are actually being so lazy they won't unmute us. 
Well, I got news for you. I have no control of your control, you know, because I am free of all phones. I cannot let all callers through at all times, you know. You have to, there's, there's a list of people that are calling in. So I apologize it's about, you know, you know, the lake. What are some of your questions now that you have us on the phone? Well, you know what? You were the lamest caller I've ever had, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't matter. So, Paul, yeah. so when did you first become involved in booze? I was 22. I was a model. Last and I year. Started Last year, oh, Jan, it's so sweet. I was 22 and I became a promotional model, so I worked my way up the ladder. Like you have the you know? best teeth I've ever seen Thank of you. any human being Thank alive. You. Are they all yours? Them. I mean, they're, they are mine now. I bought them. Oh, you bought I'm the in, teeth, right nice. Down the street in Beverly Hills. You know what? Algie's gonna buy me a set because their teeth are expensive. They are. Looks like you got a Ferrari in your mouth. Yeah, got a full on, got the full grill, Jan. <laughs> vroom, you know? Tell us some of your most wild, wildest experiences, um, crazy experiences. Well, one of the most exciting that I can think of is I did a party for the Armenian Mafia. What? And what? I didn't know. <laughs> wow. I didn't know exactly who I was dancing for until I got there. But let's just say that it was just me and my other dancer as the only females. But we did end up coming out of there with about 700 each. So that was pretty $700. nice. $700? For belly dancing. That's amazing. It was amazing. I love that. Very exciting, but you never know what you're going to get. You never know. Never. So what about you? Like, w w it, it, that would be good entertainment for a pothead. Belly dancing? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's entertaining to a pothead. Like, what is the funniest thing to you? Like, are you high right now? Yes. Like, how many joints a day do you smoke? Oh, well, I don't really smoke joints anymore. You smoke it out of the, po the pot. Uh, we, we, do, we dab now. We uh, take extracted THC from the cannabis plant, so you're getting pure THC, and then that's what you're smoking. It's like a you smoke. <laughs> now, how do you get this stuff inside those electronic cigarettes? Oh, like one of these? Yeah, because I saw, I saw one guy... You know, is, there, is, there, is that fully loaded? It's loaded now, but I can load it more for you if you'd like to see what it's like. No, but I'd like to see you do it. Yeah, so basically, these are like those, as you, the e-cigs, the portable vaporizers. Uh, this is the OG pen. You can get them on websites. This is our classy one. It's gold. Do you sell these? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. The OG pen, ladies and gentlemen. Shazam. Look at that.